Alright, y'all. Welcome back. It's Frozen Thunder Finds, where we find a different game each week. This week, we found this. Uh, for those of you who are somehow unaware, I am incredibly fond of The Legend of Zelda. Oh, they spelled Ganon wrong. Ooh, you can tell this is the first game. Many years ago, Prince, Prince of Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce with power. The Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight pieces to keep it from Ganon. Go find the eight units, Link. So we're going to register our name. We are going to be... G... L... A... C... I... E... R... Register. Ooh. Hello? Does the game usually freeze like this when you say register? Oh no, it just... I'm just a dingus. Uh, how do I play video games? Um, hello? Can I please select end? How do I play video games? Oh, duh, start. There we go. I'm a dingus is why. I don't play NES games very often. So we don't have the sword. So immediately. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Na 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 na. <laughs> now we have the sword. So this game is iconic. There's no introduction needed here. I can... I am not kidding. I'm not being hyperbolic. You know, sometimes I beat. I am a little... Oh my goodness. Look at that. Biggest money. Smallest amount of whammies. Uh, this game is quite genuinely iconic for good reason. I no longer have the beam sword. Gosh dang it. Uh... It's Legend of Zelda. And I'm incredibly fond of Zelda, for those of you who are, you know, aren't regular viewers. And uh, when I saw that it was available in the NES, like, package thing on Switch, I, I knew I had to play it. It was just a thing that had to happen. Uh, I don't want to spend any, I don't have any rupees to spend. I have one rupee total. I don't know, I don't really have any childhood memories of this game. Uh, there are other NES games that I do have childhood memories of, and I'm going to play in March, most likely. Uh, but, not. I, I decided to play this one for Zelda Month, because, you know... Ow! The Zora is so rude. Ow! Okay, we're not gonna waste our time with the Zora. Uh, we need the Wrath to do anything around here. I don't know, and I could, I could, I could talk trivia about Zelda pretty easily, but like, also everybody and their sister talks trivia about Zelda. It's, it's one of Nintendo's biggest franchises. Uh, I do really, I'm a big fan of the theory that um, uh, Breath of the Wild is kind of intended as a modern times version of this, and I can absolutely see the same DNA in the game, you know, because other other Zeldas are kind of based off of a more linear formula sometimes, but Breath of the Wild being open world, it really feels like, to me, what they really intended by this, unlimited by hardware. Uh, okay, this old lady has nothing to say, bye now. You know, it's meant to be... As Shigeru put the, put it, uh, a pocket garden. You know, you're supposed to be able to just wander and have an adventure. Oh boy, everybody's favorite. Oh, and I've died. You suck. <laughs> to to avoid damaging game info saved, hold in the reset button as you power off. I never would have noticed that. I never would have known that, because I haven't played this on original hardware. Oh, this is so much easier with full health. Oh my goodness, the beam. The beam is too good. 
I don't know. I, I do know that uh, Kondo, uh, as the, you know, or I can't remember if it's Kondo that composed for this or if it's someone else, but whoever composed for this, they, they literally, like, would write a melody and then sit with it for the better part of a day just playing constantly because they didn't want music they didn't want to write music that was initially good but wouldn't be good after hearing it for hours on end because this game's intended to be played like that i don't know nintendo uh, the, 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 uh, zelda is very like zelda's franchise is very near and dear to my heart and i've been meaning for many many moons to actually wow i suck at this um I've been meaning many for many many moons to play the original Zelda and really you know get an idea of where we've started, but <sighs> like obviously I don't you know this is a big hole in my Zelda skill set so to speak. I I play a lot of Zelda just be how you know I oh oh a fairy perfect come here that's perfect beautiful. Biggest money, smallest amount of whammies. Buy something, will ya? Buy something, will ya? I don't have any rupees, though. I would. I would buy the candle, because that lets you light bushes on fire. And there's a bush off a couple screens that you need to light on fire. And I don't know, man. Like, I just... Zelda is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, for a great myriad of reasons. And I've gone over some of them before, you know. Uh... But it's just very near and dear to me, and I've always felt a little guilty that I haven't played the original Zelda. <laughs> and uh, I figured, what better time than Zelda month to uh, to remedy that? Wow, I am the worst. Can I please like just use my shield? There we go. Just hold still for like half a second, you goober. Uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of me dying because. I've been playing a lot of modern games that are easier. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going until we find a- oh look, Tektites! Are Tektites what the Jumpy Boys are called? Like I can never remember. Is that what the Tektites are? Are the Tektites the jump- a stopwatch! That's a really handy item. Time has stopped for the next little bit, or maybe just this screen. And there's clearly like a bombable area up there. Hey, at future me, I'm giving you something to do. Uh, uh, are these actually called tektites? Question of the day. Are the jumpy boys tektites? Yes, no, maybe so. Um. Ooh, okay. Water noises. We're apparently in the ocean area. It's really good, like environmental sound, actually. Oh, look at there! Get bopped. I can bop all these octorocks without a single thought. And we got a bomb. Oh, this is the best. Do we have? A limited amount of bombs? Yeah, we do. Hang on, there was an area of... Okay, does this look bombable to you? Yes, but it isn't. Um, so now that we have bombs, which I was not expecting to get this early, uh, we're to try and find an area we need bombs for. Ow! Buy something, will ya? Uh, arrows, a shield... Or bombs. Well, we don't have enough rupees for any of it, so it's fine. See, I'm in the wrong... Oh, look at there. There's a heart container there and everything. We just need the raft. But we need to find one of the dungeons for that. Oh, the game... The game, like, slowed down for a second. Ooh. Oh, we need the... We need a... Um... We need a, a thing. Ooh, okay. Dodge the projectiles there, I guess. Ooh, do, do. Nope. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, Dark Nuts? Don't like that. We're just gonna... Ow. We're apparently gonna take damage because we're the worst at this. Okay. 
Um, don't like this, don't like this, don't like this. Ooh, okay, the, 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 there's a dungeon up this waterfall, I think. Maybe, maybe it was a different one. Oh, man, I don't know this map very well. Can I save at any time? Is that an option, or can I only save after I die? I think I can only save after I die. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie. You know, I hit none of the Tektites with that, so it was just double useless. Okay. <laughs> uh, but sorry, I'm like clamming up because I'm enjoying this. Um, we are going to save and then continue. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, beautiful, we gotta, oh, what the heck, what the heck, Ooh, there we go, okay, 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 oh, that's not what I wanted to happen at all, so we have bombs now, so we can, bombs, uh, ooh, okay then, slowly, slowly, I guess, Oh, it like visibly. Oh, oh man, this poor chipset. I wonder, did people like complain about the game slowing down? Oh, did people complain about the game slowing down like this in back in the olden days? Oh wow, I. Am I not moving on the upper screen? I'm not moving on the map right now. Are we in the Lost Woods? Is that what's happening right now? Oh, mm. Well, first of all. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're not moving on the upper screen right now, so. Aha! Take that! Can't hit me if I hold still. Oh, dang it! Uh, but I don't—I don't really have any stories to tell about this game because uh, my first Zelda was actually um, my first Zelda was Minish Cap, and I didn't even play it on a real Game Boy Advance. Uh, if you—if you don't want to count. I've, I've told this story on stream for sure, but uh, my first real Zelda game, if you want to only count the games I've played on real hardware, uh, was actually Spirit Tracks, which admittedly is a real good place to start, because it's, while a good game, while good and entertaining and fun, it is not necessarily the best Zelda game in the world. Uh, I will defend it because it is a fun time and it has a neat gimmick and I enjoy it, but I understand that it is absolutely not everyone's cup of tea. You know, and neither is Phantom Hourglass, and I will defend Phantom Hourglass just not as fervently as Spirit Tracks. I think I really only defend Spirit Tracks because I know it's ooh, my, my introduction to the Zelda series. But, uh... I, I will freely admit that no game is perfect, but especially in the case of the uh, handheld Zeldas, they are far from perfect. But they're also incredibly fun, I, I think. And they're, you know, I've, I've made this abundantly clear, there's no such thing as a bad Zelda game, in my mind. You know, like, a Zelda game cannot has not ever been, or has not been known to be, a bad game. There is, you know, there are cases in which, you know, it is kind of a bad Zelda game, so to speak, but it's not a bad video game. It still plays well, 
because it's a Nintendo product, you know? They don't release poor ga- Okay, there is an exception to this sentence, and that exception is the Triforce of, uh, the Unholy Triforce. But they don't count because they're not good. <laughs> but they don't count because they literally, like, half the- half of everyone don't acknowledge them to exist anyway, so it's fine. Um, so when I make broad sweeping statements about Zelda, I'm not- I'm deliberately not included. Hey, there we go! The first dungeon, the dead tree. It's also heavily implied- oh, listen to that dungeon music. Beautiful. Key! I will take that. I will take that to the bank. See, and like, there's a lot about this game that I didn't really know, despite it being, you know, <laughs> the beginning of a franchise I hold near and dear to my heart. There's a lot about this game I didn't know because I haven't personally played it. Like, there's a lot more sound-wise going on in this game than I would have expected from the average NES game, but this really does okay, or I can have trouble with my controller, it's fine. And, like, I know a lot about functionally how this game works because of mostly speedruns, but I know a lot about how this game works because it's a great way to... It's a great, uh... It's a great example game to look at, like, do you want to make a good NES game? This is how. Because Nintendo, it being their console, they know what's up. They know how to work with their own hardware. Look at all these keys. Look at all these keys. They're just as annoying as they are, they are normally. But thankfully, unlike in modern games, I cannot get bopped by them. Because we're in a 2D perspective. There we go. Now we got the compass. So now, we should get... Oh no, we just know where to go. We don't have the full map yet. I'm pretty sure that's an item we can get. But this is, you know, this is... It is the first Zelda, and it, it establishes a lot of not only the tropes of the games but also like a lot of the formula that later games follow you know most zelda games can trace their design philosophy to either or both this game or link to the past and that's for a good reason they're both really really good games and they're both very foundational and much as everybody loves to you know dunk on uh much as everybody loves to dunk on... Oh! Eastmost Peninsula is the secret! Thank you. Um... There is a secret on the Eastmost Peninsula. Everybody remember that. As if it's not an already iconic phrase. Um... But... Oh boy, look at all these slimes. They have the same sprite as the, uh... As the gimmick slimes from ages. <laughs> Or I guess the the gimmick sprites from the gimmick slimes from ages have the same sprite. Is that the dungeon map? There we go. We are in the Phoenix dungeon. Is that what it's called? The bird dungeon. That's what it is. That one has the key. Got bopped. There we go, stopwatch. But yeah, there's a lot of games, like, immediately, like, now that I'm finally playing this, I can tell a lot of games really, really borrow, borrow cliff notes from this. Hoo boy. Like, 
the binding of that. Oh no. Okay, cool. We're just playing this now. We just get to deal with these slighty boys. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I knew it was one of them. The, the bow. Oh, the bow. Oh, this is super nice. I knew there was something down here, but I didn't know what it was. Like, there are a ton of games that... Da -na -na -na. We got the bow. I'm gonna leave the bombs equipped, because I feel like we need them for this dungeon. Ow. And like, yeah, I, I know, like, I can hear at least one person complaining already, because this isn't really, you know, this game isn't really in the spirit of Frozen Tundra Finds. Frozen Tundra Finds is meant to be, at least, initially it was meant to be a, uh, you know, it was meant to be, oh, check out this game I found, I bet you guys haven't heard of it, but, uh, I also, whoa, I was expecting that to hit me. Oh, I got a boomerang. Hang on, we need to... Oh, that that's pause. I need the inventory. Uh, we'll equip the boomerang. I forgot that select is pause and start is the inventory. Man, I'm glad that didn't become standard. Uh -oh. oh, Wallmaster! Gosh dang it! Wallmaster, you're the worst. I do think it's interesting that there's no, like, I, it, it makes sense, like, if you think about it for more than half a second, that there's no wall masters in Breath of the Wild, but, like, also, there's no wall masters in Breath of the Wild? Like, granted, there's not really many walls to master for the wall master, but, oh, I'm trying to remember how the drops table work in this game. Because uh, it's because it's small enough and it functions in a simple enough way because of the age of the hardware that a human can keep track of it if they practice. But anyway, like there's no there's no wall masters in Breath of the Wild, and it, it boggles me every time I hear it because like wall masters are such an iconic enemy, and yet they're not in Breath of the Wild, which is you know arguably a modern interpretation of this game's stylistic choices it's supposed to be you know the game where you can do what you want roughly uh wait can i go up here or do i have to go the long way around i'm gonna go the long way around i don't want to blow a bomb i'm trying to kill all these keys to get a heart to stop this beeping because oh or i can die literally at the end of the dungeon Cool. Well, uh, we'll go one more try. Continue. Oh, and it starts at the start of the dungeon. Thank Hylia. That's really, that's another interesting thing, that a lot of the extended lore for this game really didn't come in until later, you know? Even in the manual for this game, which I'm sure I can find a PDF of somewhere, like, even in the manual for this game, a lot of the extended lore didn't really stick uh, to what we would, we as the modern viewer would consider, you know, standard Zelda lore. Like, even things that I consider standard Zelda lore, you know, um, especially like the Three Golden Goddesses and the whole, you know, just Din, Nehru, and Furore in general, and like, the, the idea that the Triforce is of three pieces, even, didn't really stick until the third, until like later games. Like in this game, like you, you guys saw in the opening there, the only Triforces mentioned are of wisdom and of power. And I'm sure like in the design documents they mentioned courage or something, but it doesn't come up in the game. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't come up in the manual either. It's just, it's just curious. And like you're, you as Link, despite being now traditionally you know, the bearer of the Triforce of Courage, you are on a quest to reassemble the Triforce of Wisdom for Zelda. 
of course, you're also doing so in order, and like, you need the Triforce of Wisdom to defeat Ganon, and rather than normally, you know, it being the Triforce of Courage, which is, you know, it's weird to a modern viewer's ear to hear that, someone who loves Zelda, but <laughs> that's how it is, you know, they didn't have, obviously they didn't have franchising potential, you know, they didn't have, you know, extended, oh, dude, Wallmaster, if you could not do that, that'd be great. Those are good sounds, though. Like, there's a lot of things in this game that I'm like, what? This is a thing? Oh, okay, cool. Boss. We are going to not get hit. We're going to not get hit. We're not going to walk into projectiles today. It's not the day we're having. Or I can walk into projectiles. We're not going to walk into projectiles. It's fine. Okay, time to change the bombs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Heart container. Da -da -da -da. And Triforce piece. Alright, I think that's a good note to end the episode on. Uh, we're gonna save here, maybe, if we can save here. Is that a thing? I know you can save in this game. It was a huge thing back in the day. Can I save? Is that, an, is that allowed? Uh... I know there's no such thing as an automatic save. That's not a real thing in this game. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Come back here, fairy. I need you. Ow! Come here! And it's gone. Uh, I don't remember how to save. Uh, where? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ow. Anyway, we need to we need to end off the game. I'll figure out how to save off camera. Uh, this has been Frozen Tundra Finds. This week we found the real true classic, The Legend of Zelda, because it's Zelda month, and you gotta play some Zelda in Zelda month. Uh, I found it to be. Well, the classic it's purported to be. <laughs> what else would I find it to be, honestly? Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, tune in next week where we're going to find another game. Uh, probably something a little off the wall that I didn't know existed. And uh, I hope you all have a great week. See you then.